Hey everyone, it's me Cynthia. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing all of my skincare empties with you. These are all the products that I've genuinely been reaching for and using for the last few months. And as you can see, my skin's doing a lot better. Unsponsored, just real products that I've used up in my last few months and I'm excited to share them with you. I'm going to leave everything in the description box with links and then I'll also try to have timestamps and go like category by category. Update on my skin and how it's been doing. As you can see, I'm mostly dealing with my scars and my hyperpigmentation now and then also trying to keep like small fungal acne at bay you can see the before and after photos which would have been three four months ago i had suffered from a pretty bad breakout so i was trying to like heal my skin the other thing i want to note is i do live in canada so it is winter time we have really dry cold windy winters so i tend to use more hydrating products for my skin my skin type is acne prone sensitive oily combo but in the winter time it often does dry out so we're working with a lot of nuances i hope this can help let's get into it i'm just gonna go in order of my skincare routine so first is my cleansers i'm still double cleansing and this is still my favorite combo first is the matcha hemp hydrating cleanser this is by crave beauty it's a gentle non-stripping wash and i really like the jelly consistency i loved this for the winter time especially because it really isn't stripping i still love my cozarex ph balance cleanser i still use that but i find that this one is way more gentle and soothing I just restocked on this. I should have kept the empty one, but this is the Ceramide Cleansing Balm. I first tried this when I was in Korea, and now Yesta has it in stock, so I finally restocked on it. And I really like this because it's a balm. I find that it's less irritating on my skin. I still do use the Anua cleansing oil, but I find I can't use that every day. I use this daily, and then for the Anua one, I'll use that when I'm wearing heavier makeup or when I really want to do like a deeper oil cleanse, if that makes sense. So these are my two empties in the cleanser section and i feel like everyone would love these also i love crave beauty i met the founder leah and she's the sweetest so we just love supporting secondly is my toners i have three here because they're all like almost done first one you've seen me talk about before in my holy grail videos it's my aha bha pha 30 day miracle toner i still love this line i always come back to this line you can see it's almost done i use this daily am and pm and i find that it just helps minimize me getting acne this one i like just as a overall really good hydrating cleanser it's the numbuzin cleanser or sorry the numbuzin toner so if you don't struggle with any like skincare concerns i would recommend this to any skin type sometimes i would layer it sometimes i would do this am and then i would do this pm but you can see it's almost completely empty. I'm like halfway through my Anua one and I still really love this as well. I know that there's like either love it or you hate it, you think it doesn't do anything for you, but I find it's a really nice lightweight toner and I like to layer it on. So if I'm ever feeling like my skin is being sensitive, it's like irritated, I will use this because I don't want to use like the chemical exfoliants in this because there's AHA PHAs in it. This one's nice too, but it's a thicker consistency. And sometimes I don't really know why my skin is like acting up and being irritated. So I trust this one more, if that makes sense. Like if my skin's chilling and doing fine and I just want hydration, I'll use this. If it's like weirdly red, if it's bumpy, then I will use this and I'll often layer it. So I'll put it in my hands, I'll dab it in, wait a few seconds and then do it like two or three times and i find that it's hydrating and it reduces my inflammation again halfway through so maybe i'll do another skincare empties video soon but those are my three toners that i've been rotating and loving the ones that i'm currently using and then the ones that i've used up so these are the ones that i'm almost done using up the vita c dark spot serum i was excited to try it but for the price i don't find that it did much for my skin like i really would recommend using niacinamide or alpha arbutin i mentioned this in previous videos i just don't think vitamin c works for my skin like maybe it works for other people's skin so i used it up because it was expensive but i just wanted to mention that to you guys i'm still using my niacinamide and my alpha arbutin from the ordinary together i need to cycle this on and off though so i'll use it for like four or five months and then i'll stop for four or five months because otherwise i think my skin does get used to the combo but you can see it's almost done as well i've also also almost used up my soothing serum this is the heart leaf ampule from Anua and again I think it's because it's winter time and I just need that hydration and I find that it works really well for me like it's honestly just super hydrating 
helps reduce my inflammation, my redness, especially if I've been walking out in the wind and it's like been really drying on my skin, I'll go in and I'll use this. And I think that's why I've almost used it up. These aren't empty because I just started using these about a month ago, but I got this retinol A313 when I was in Paris and I've heard amazing things. Like all the French girls rave about this. So I've been trying this, but I'm forming my opinions. And then I'm also trying the azelaic acid from The Ordinary, but I can't like use too many actives all at once so that's why I've been slowly incorporating them. I've heard really great things about this too for texture. We'll see, I'll keep you guys posted on this stuff. For my daily routine, what I've been using are these three and they're not empties yet but I thought I would note them anyway. As you can see, they're like halfway done. So this is what I've been using now that I've kind of used up the other ones that I just showed you. This is the new niacinamide serum from Anua. It's the darker one, it's not the peach one. If you guys watch my Anua review, I'm not a fan of the peach one, but I love this. It works really well. If you're on a budget, the ordinary niacinamide is really similar. And I pair it with a hyaluronic acid serum first. So I read somewhere that when you're using niacinamide you should use a hyaluronic acid first because it helps the niacinamide work better so i'll go in with this this is from isentry and then i'll go in with this and i found that my skin loves this like i think that's why i have less small bumps and i have less just like breakouts right now and then on days where i just want something light or in the morning i'll use the centella ampule instead so I'll either use this AM PM or I'll use this AM and then this PM if that makes sense. I've been really enjoying this. I love Centella as an ingredient. That's why I like the Miracle like 30 days line from some by me. So still forming my opinions, but I do think this has also been helping with my redness, my inflammation. So yeah, had to mention that. The next one is moisturizers. I am done my 30 day miracle cream. This is probably my like 13th container and I just opened a new one. Completely empty. I love this. I've talked about this in previous videos. My skin just eats this up. It's not super thick. It's the perfect like gel-like consistency, super hydrating. And I just love the like, again, AHA, BHA, PHA, and Centella in this. Great for my skin. On days where I don't want so many actives, I was using the Ole Henriksen um, Peptide Boost Moisturizer. I don't even have anything in here to show you guys a swatch, but the application of this was gorgeous. I really love this. It's just a really good overall moisturizer so i would use this on days where i'm using like an azelaic acid or a retinol last category is sunscreen you guys have heard me talk about these two and they're still my faves i'm almost done both of them this is the anua sun cream and i love how moisturizing this is also the heart leaf in this so it's super calming for the skin helps with my redness this one i'm still using because i still have like two bottles of these i bulk bought them a while ago it's the biore uv sunscreen i love this especially for the summertime so i'm kind of like saving this or when i know i'm gonna be like sweaty this wears on my skin way better it does have a bit of an alcohol smell but this one in the winter times i've been gravitating toward it like you can see i've almost squeezed all of it out so and the biggest thing with these is they have absolutely no white cast i've tried a few of the like super hyped up ones like the beauty of joseon one and i don't know like sometimes i still leave a white cast on my skin or they're like really oily in their finish even though I've seen reviews where people are like, no, like it doesn't have that, but that's why these are my tried and true. Like I do not mess around with my sunscreen. In terms of masks, I've been trying to incorporate more face masks into my routine, usually once a week or twice a week. The first is like face mask packs. I don't have any more of them, but I use the Dr. Jart one and I love that one for just extreme hydration. And then in terms of an actual like washing off clarifying mask, because those ones are more hydrating. I've been loving this mugwort one. So this one is by Axis Y. This is what it looks like. And I find this really, really nice for helping just deep clean my pores. I also still love the volcanic clay mask, but I don't have any of that right now. So I'm just trying to use this one up. I've been using these two cushion foundations. These are by Jung Se Moor, and I tried these when I went to Korea probably a year ago now, last April. I've never been able to find cushion foundations that match my skin tone. This one was the one they matched me with then. It's a little bit too tan for me, so I feel like it's like my summer shade. It's in 25 medium deep. And then I bought these ones off of Yes Style because I wanted a lighter color to match 
or to mix with so this is in medium i love this formula it's more matte skin neuter cover layer foundation so i think it has more coverage as well this one's a little bit lighter a little bit more um, dewy finish this is the essential skin neuter long wear cushion i haven't found a foundation that just like sits well over my skin and because it's a cushion i feel like you can like really press it in and i find that helps cover my like texture I, like wear really well i think i'm wearing it today let me know what you guys think the last thing i want to mention that i think's made a really big difference is using a showerhead filter so water makes a really big difference i moved to toronto a few months ago and my skin has been really red and like bumpy after i wash my face after i get out of the shower when i go back to visit my family in mississauga my skin like clears up a little bit right away so i realized it's because of the water so i got a showerhead filter i saw them a lot when i was in olive young's in korea as well so i think it's really important it's made such a big difference for my skin and you just change the filter every like five to six months so i'd really recommend that if you feel that water is also affecting you because i was getting like so many small pimples like small just raised bumps on my skin having the shower head filter really helped and then i think some of these products also helped so that's the last thing that i want to mention those are basically all of my skincare empties and everything that i've been loving that i've been using up for the last few months i hope that this can help you especially if you've been suffering from hormonal acne adult acne or just like dealing with the scarring and the texture afterwards if you have any other questions about the products that i mentioned just leave them in the comments and i'll try to get to you as soon as possible leave a thumbs up if you want to see more skincare content from me again i'll have everything linked in the description box with the names and then i'll try to link a few different sites that you can shop from i usually buy directly from yes Style or olive young or sometimes style vanna i feel like those are like the most trustworthy sites for me in my opinion yeah i'll end the video off here hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one bye everyone